outside look at this spectacular stadium. And we cover it with the tail of the tape. They're Manny Pacquiao and Joshua Clowney. One year age advantage for Pacquiao. One and a half inch height advantage and a one inch arm length advantage measured from the armpit to the end of the fist for the true welterweight in the fight, Joshua Clowney. Clowney weighed in right at 147 pounds. And we have been denied the chance to weigh him unofficially. So we do not know at what weight he will enter the ring. Manny Pacquiao woke up weighing 142 yesterday morning before getting on the scales after breakfast and lunch at 145 and three quarters. He may not weigh as much as 150 entering the ring tonight. Rules of the bout with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. The Manny Pacquiao, Joshua Clady fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the Unified Rules of the Association of Boxing Commissions. There is no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. In case a cut is caused by an accidental headbutt, we go to the scorecards if the four rounds have been completed and you cannot be saved by the bell on any round, including the 12th and final rounds. Jim! Thank you, Harold. Let's take a look at the biggest boxing crowds in the United States in the course of the last 50 years. Ali Spinks, too, at the Superdome in New Orleans, the largest of those crowds. Whitaker and Chavez drew nearly 60,000 to the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, and now the number three largest boxing crowd in America in the last 50 years, Manny Pacquiao, a Filipino, against Joshua Clotty, a Ghanaian. They draw 51,000 mostly American fans in Dallas Cowboys Stadium, a football stadium in Orlington, Texas. And there's Joshua Clotty. Ready to approach the biggest moment of his life. Three losses in his career. Losses to Carlos Baldemir, Antonio Margarito, and Miguel Cotto. One by disqualification, the other two very close decisions. He believes he's never really lost. I think he has a reason to feel that way. Most fighters prove it. In this case, nobody's ever decisively dominated him in his entire career in a boxing match. And yet he has come up just short in his biggest fights. And if he's in a competitive fight tonight against Pacquiao, he needs to try to figure out how to avoid coming up just short, how to do enough to actually come away with a win. At the end of the day, he's a terrific fighter, but there's no X factor. There is no one weapon or one characteristic of Joshua Clotty which defines him in such a way as a fighter to make an imprint on the mind of the boxing club. Well, maybe his ability to absorb punishment, which is actually not a bad ability to have against Man Manny Pacquiao, because the assumption is you're going to be getting some punishment. Indeed. Well, well, the thing that bothered me a lot when we asked them for a really decisive strategy, exactly what they were planning to do, he didn't really have a plan. He just said, I'll have a defense, and my defense will make him get tired and mentally frustrated, but didn't have a plan, whereas, on the other hand, Pacquiao and his trainer and his team have a solid plan of moving in and out, punching, and not staying in one spot. Indeed, the suggestion was that Clotty may be willing to go in and simply try to adjust to Pacquiao upon this, his first experience in the ring with him. Manny Pacquiao is not the kind of fighter to which you want to try to adjust once you're in the ring. You had better have a plan, right? That's a great statement. You have to have a plan, and you have a backup plan, but at least have a solid plan. I mean, if he's going to just try to come in and block punches, he better be ready as soon as he finishes blocking those punches to move in very fast with his feet, which he doesn't do. Not just to stand in one spot, because Manny's going to be moving away with his feet. So he's going to have to move in very fast and to punch. And one yet, thing that, uh, go ahead. And as we discussed earlier, the fact is Pacquiao looks spectacular, in particular since he moved up from 130 pounds. But when you examine the opposition, David Diaz is ordinary at lightweight. Oscar De La Hoya was finished at junior middle. Ricky Hatton looked to be at the end at junior welterweight. Miguel Cotto coming off a brutal fight against Margarito, and then against Claudi at welterweight. Claudi is the first opponent since Pacquiao left junior lightweight, who presents an in his prime physical specimen that Pacquiao has to try to overcome. But here is the difficult equation that Claudi must overcome in order to try to win, and that is 
in various bouts counted by CompuBox, Joshua Clotty has never thrown more than 62 punches in any one round. 62 punches would be a very slow round for Manny Pacquiao, who's been averaging 75 or 80 as a welterweight. Clotty is a precision puncher, and his hope has to be that one of those 50 or 60 punches will catch the naturally smaller Pacquiao just right and turn the fight in his favor. But in terms of winning rounds, the sport now belongs to volume punchers, and Manny Pacquiao is the volume puncher in this fight. Particularly when it's not like he's pity padding. Manny Pacquiao's not missing these punches either. He's landing this high volume of punches, and he's landing really effective punches. And but if Clotty blocks a bunch of punches, could that frustrate Pacquiao, Emmanuel? It will frustrate him to some degree, but he's still not going to win a fight by just blocking. He's going to have to return punches. And he's going to have to be prepared in case this fight is close, which I think it has the possibility of being going down the stretch. And as we've always saw in the stretch, the fluid punching got wins. That's what I had predicted with Cotto when he fought Josh. If it goes down the stretch, and Cotto had to flash your hands. And we just saw that in the previous fight. Still a good competitive fight, but the faster hands at the end win, especially when he sets in. And I don't know if he can do that. I will do that. It's been a long walk to the ring, and Claudie's energy level seems to have been rising during the walk. The music. The crowd. It's home music. No, there's no crowd for it. They're going to get that. It's the music. That's all. <laughs> Claudi mentioned to me in the locker room, in the dressing room, that if Pacquiao can crack him like he's cracked others, he'll say there's something supernatural about this guy. And you imagine entering the ring against Pacquiao, as Claudi just did. The sense is that you're about to experience something supernatural that you haven't experienced before and that there's no real way to prepare for. And now here comes the people's choice. Not only the most popular fighter in the world, one of the most popular athletes anywhere on the planet right now. The roar accompanies the sight of Pacquiao on the television monitor. He has not even entered the arena. And look at the joy. Has anyone ever enjoyed his tour at the top of the sport more than this man? Very seldom. I saw Muhammad Ali naturally. Phoenix Trinidad, you know, it's just like to some, you get a dogs in a fight, and most dogs got to maybe the tail between their legs, but you got some dogs in the wild they're fighting, the tail is just ragged because they love what they're doing, and that's Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao is, he's the best show on TV. It's not just comparing him to other athletes, it's like you have to look for other comparisons. He's like the Chappelle show, you know, the best show on TV, and you want to enjoy him while he's here. He's like the political uh, talk host, Rachel Maddow. He's so prepared, he's so persuasive that he embarrasses the opposition. He is spectacle. There's a look at the definitive Pacquiao punch. The left-hand knockout of Ricky Hatton. And the crowd roars for that one. Now he begins his one-mile walk. Ready to please his public. The current reigning king of the world, Manny Pacquiao. But Jim, does he still have the eye of the tiger? Has he gotten too civilized? It's a man that loves going to work. He loves his job. This man loves people. Yes. Loves all people. The more, the better. Everything that goes with being a superstar. What a moment. What an entrance. What glory in Texas. And yet, just when you hear people like us say stuff about fighter like this, is when we've seen in the past, he enters the ring against a prepared opponent, 
and you get some of the biggest upsets in boxing history. Well, look at the ambition, look at the audacity of everything that Pacquiao has done. The realistic question becomes, at what point does he fight off more than he can chew? Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Mr. Jerry Jones, welcomes you to Cowboy Stadium, Arlington, Texas, USA. As Bob Arum and MP Promotions presents the event, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO. Welterweight! Championship of the World. Sponsored by Tecate Cerveza con Character. Ninja Assassin, available on Blu-ray, combo pack, and DVD, March 16th. And Smart Communications, the Philippines' leading wireless services provider. Sanctioned by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, Executive Director, William Coons. Deputy Director, Brian Francis. WBO President Francisco Paco Barcarcel. At ringside, the three judges scoring on the 10-point system will be Dwayne Ford, Levi Martinez, and Nelson Vasquez. And inside the ring, the man in charge of the action at the bell, United States Army First Sergeant Rafael Ramos. And now, the officials are ready the fighters are ready. Are you ready? <laughs> Boxing fans, are you ready? For the 51,000 fans in attendance here at Cowboys Stadium and the millions watching around the world, courtesy of HBO Pay-Per-View, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, standing with head trainer Lenny De Jesus, wearing red with gray, officially weighing in at 147 pounds. An excellent professional record, consisting of 35 victories, including 21 knockouts with only three defeats. Tonight, with honor, he fights for hundreds of millions of people on the African continent as he challenges for this world title. Ladies and gentlemen, the fighting pride of Accra, Ghana, and former welterweight champion of the world, Joshua. The Grand Master Pilate. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner with his head trainer, Freddie Roach, wearing red, official weight 145, three quarter pounds. His professional record. 50 victories, including 38 knockouts, with three defeats and two draws. From Kayumba, Serangani Province, the former flyweight world champion, former super bantamweight world champion, former featherweight world champion, former super featherweight world champion, former lightweight world champion, former light welterweight, World champion and reigning, defending WBO, welterweight champion of the world, the fighting pride of the Philippines, Manny Pacman, Okay, guys, you receive the pre-fight instruction, protect yourself and obey my commands, okay? Let's do it. 
There's not much better than the moments right before the opening bell of a Manny Pacquiao fight, except for the moments right after the opening bell. Pacquiao with affectionate final hugs for his trainer Freddie Roach, his physical conditioner Alex Ariza. The bell rings for round one. Will the magical life of Manny Pacquiao over the course of the past couple of years continue? The difference in hand speed will be immediately apparent. Pacquiao's left hand was blocked by Clotty's gloves. Clotty is not throwing. He's really only thrown a few punches so far. Pacquiao is seeing most of his stuff blocked, but gets a little left hand in there. But, but, but you know, Clotty right now is fighting his fight, and it's, and it's what he should do. He can never try to match Manny with punch for punch. That's not him. But I think the way he's fighting, trying to just get close and eventually start shooting a little pecky right-hand lead through the center is what he's got to do. Cloudy went into his deep defensive guard at that time, both hands up, gloves in front of his face. Pacquiao banged away against his arms as they went to the ropes. I, I think these first few minutes have enormous significance. Cloudy came out looking like he wants to see what this force of nature is all about. And I think Pacquiao has to impress him here to keep him on the defensive. So far, Claudio doesn't look overly impressed. Nope, he's given a lot of problems to Manny at this stage right now. Manny cannot figure him out because so far he's not been able to land a punch. But he should have expected that. You know, the, the talk of him going out and knocking out Claudio I just was always ridiculous. I think it's going to be a long fight. Well, Claudio's so much bigger and stronger. Yeah, but you know, but and plus he's skilled and talented, particularly as a defender. I think so how could it be an easy fight? It can. You're right. And the, and the best thing that Manny can do is try to catch Claudio when he punches. That's when he's most vulnerable. Not right now. But already you see the problem for Claudio in terms of the punch output equation. How can he win rounds when he's throwing about one punch for every three or four that Pacquiao releases, or so it appears? Body shot by Pacquiao. Claudio short with the jab. It seems unlikely that Claudio can win rounds short of hurting Pacquiao, but he has shown in this first round that he can catch Pacquiao clean. And just did there with the it's, jab. It's just what I said here to come back with a little tail end punches. Right Hard right hand by Claudio. Because his right hand and his left hand is so high at the same level of Manny's head, which means it's very easy for him to shoot short, direct punches. Pacquiao has landed two punches on Claudio's belt line, and referee Richard Ramos, or Rafael Ramos, has let them both go. Good tactical first round. Both fighters probably did about what they wanted to do. CompuBox numbers will show Manny throwing more. Okay. Nice body, George. Let's keep working that body for me, okay, son? All right? You're working me here behind that thing. Yes. Now, when you faint, be ready for his jab or his straight right hand. Give me another round. Okay. Nice way, lad, baby. I'll tell you when we get in the fight. So we learn a little bit about Pacquiao's thought process, as in round one, he throws more jabs than he has ever thrown in any one round counted by CompuBox. Mm -hmm. Manny threw. 79 punches in the round. It was not a good round for him. He only landed 11, but Plotty only threw 35 punches. So how do you win a round when the other man has thrown twice as many punches and is the more dynamic fighter anyway? Well, as the fight goes on, if Manny gets a little frustrated and loses his spirit because of the fact that he can't land the shot, you'll probably see Plotty start to land in with a short punches just like he tried to do right there. 
just as many backs away and he's relaxing those little shots come out such a short distance where he can't see them. The question is can Claudia at any point hurt Pacquiao with one of these straight shots he's shooting up the middle. It may not but I'm going down the stretch as the fight's going to be very, very tight fight I think. And right now the fight is going more to Claudia's plan and I think then than many because they thought many thought he would be able to penetrate a little bit by now but so far he's not found the solution. So will Pacquiao be patient. Can he take several rounds and try to construct a way of picking Claudia apart. Or will he get frustrated and impatient. Well I tell you what he's throwing shots that he still hasn't been able to do too much and the main thing I think he start, should start preparing himself to try to win a decision as I said earlier. Well. He's preparing to win a decision because unless I'm totally out to lunch here and barring a big change he'll exit this round up two rounds to nothing on the scorecards. was well below the belt line. It didn't do any real damage. Oh, There's another one right on the belt. Raphael is letting both fighters throw at the belt line. There's a combination for Pacquiao. And he manages to rip a left through the guard. Claudi pretends to wobble. Usually a sign that a fighter's actually hurt. It doesn't look like Claudi was hurt there. No, Claudi's not hurt. I think really he's getting very comfortable in this fight right now. Claudia tried the first couple of uppercuts a moment ago. That's what he hopes will be a big weapon. But when he throws the uppercut with the left, Pacquiao will counter with that brilliant right hook of his. That's been a very damaging punch. There's a good left for Claudia straight onto the face of Pacquiao. Claudia's landing effective punches. Manny's throwing them, but the really effective though with short point-to-point -point punches are more effective from Claudia than from Manny at this stage. And yet Claudia's losing this round by a wide margin. Agreed. <laughs> and Pacquiao is starting to get some leather around he's Claudia's what he's guard. Gotta do. He's got to keep trying to find a way to get through. He's got to try to get those points. So that's going for the points. Right. Yeah. yeah, so stay away from that right hand. He moves to your right. Okay, stay away from his power shot. All right, okay. you keep circling him. Okay, let's throw punches now. Okay, baby? You relax now. We're in a fight now. Okay, baby? Here you see Cloudy blocking some shots, and then I think he's going to do his little jig to imitate as if he was hurt. But I think it's part of him becoming getting more relaxed with the situation now. A too, lot relaxed. Comes, too relaxed. He's too relaxed. He allowed Pacquiao to throw 96 punches in that round, and he threw 27. It doesn't what? matter to me if he's landing clean shots. You he can't Pac run around that you, way. You let Pacquiao really start to move his hands. He'll relax you all the way. That's right. He'll put you to sleep. I agree watch with you, hand, Emmanuel, that Claudia feels hand. comfortable with what he's yeah, doing. Yeah, but Manny is winning the fight. He's doing what he's saying. He's got to remember to keep just doing what he's doing, just out punching this guy. Don't go for a knockout. Yeah, what Claudia has not been able to do is to stop Pacquiao from throwing so many punches. And he thought maybe he could. No, he can't stop him from doing that. Manny's going to throw punches. But I, I don't get a certain point. You start getting a little frustrated still when you're throwing punches. And really, for clean punches yourself, you're not landing anything. To me, still, the effective punches are from Claudia. And maybe it being out of work, but he's landing the effective punches. Well, I I've seen a lot of effective punches from Pacquiao, in fact, more than from Claudia, although not as a percentage of the punches that Pacquiao's throwing. Claudia's making every punch count, but he, as Jim, you say, he needs to throw I more often. I see often. I see Claudia landing the screen straight punches, the clean punches. Perhaps, Emmanuel, but he threw 27 and landed five in the last round. And, and but Manny threw 96. I said Manny's winning yeah. the fight, okay. but I'm All saying right. the clean effective punches are still to me coming from Claudia. The cleaner they're not punch. enough of them. Yeah, it's not the, enough. And they're cleaner punches, but even when Claudia's blocking some of these Pacquiao shots, they're partially blocked. They're also partially landing. 
And Manny, interestingly, has shown more focus to the body in the first couple rounds than I think I've seen from him in quite a while. Looks like Pacquiao's also felt, felt Claudie's power more in this third round. Definitely. His, his head was snapped up by a, an uppercut. But nothing stops him from pouring the punches on. A minute left in the round. He's already thrown 61 punches in the round. Hard right hand by Claudi. Best punch of the fight. And that's going to have to be what Claudi does if he hopes to win. Well, well see, Manning's got to be careful. He don't get frustrated after a while of just punching and not hitting nothing but arms. He's got to realize just got to work this guy and try to win this decision and not get frustrated. One of these crisp counters of Claudie's that you pointed out, Emmanuel, has to land hard enough to hurt Pacquiao, I think. At some point in the fight, it doesn't have to be right now, but at some point he has to throw it with real conviction. I agree. Joshua Claudie is doing exactly what he wants to do. But his offensive output is simply too limited for him to be able to compete on the scorecards with Manny Pacquiao at this moment. Hey. Okay. Very nice. How you feel, baby? Good. Good? Yeah. Okay. Again. Okay. Finish with the hooking out. Okay. All right. Finish with the hooking out. It's easy. Combination and more. It's easy. Ah, boss, hang on, hook. Ah. Just like in the gym, we finish with the hook and say this out. Okay. Say back up, back up. Here you see, which is maybe typical of the, of Claudio's effective punches, the little simple, little straight little shots that he's landing. But the problem is he's not throwing enough of them. But his punches are very effective when he does do them. CompuBox numbers through round three. Landed punches, no huge difference. Pacquiao 44, he's got a margin over Claudio who's landed 26. The difference is Pacquiao has thrown 281 and Claudio has only thrown 100 in the first three rounds. So Manny is averaging 93 punches per round in the first three rounds and Claudio is averaging 33. Harold, how do you have it? <laughs> okay, Jim, three to nothing. 30 to 27, Manny Pacquiao. You know, Jim, he's so smart, it's amazing. You know, you come out and you see a guy covered up like Winky Wright, hands held high, elbows in tight. What do you do? You step around. Manny Pacquiao keeps stepping around the guy and whacking him in the ribs and piling up points. Forget the fact that he's breaking him down to the body. I mean, he's, you know, just keeps banging him in the ribs, banging him in his watch. You see, he'll step right there. See, he steps around and he usually follows it with a, there he goes, stepping around again, banging to the body. Harold, you and Manny. You agree this is the most body punching we've seen Pacquiao do? Oh, yeah. I mean, beautiful body punching, no question. This guy's covered up. You can't hit him in the jaw. You bang him in the body. You know, that said, and Harold, you're right, but we've seen already in three rounds, three and a half rounds, Manny Pacquiao hit cleanly to the head. More than we've seen him hit cleanly to the head in the Diaz, De La Hoya, Hatton, and Cotto fights combined, I think. And Cotto had some success early. Yes, he did. Most people gave Cotto a couple of rounds. The first and the fifth. No, 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 no. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. I'm not sure what Raphael was stopping them for for a second there. Pacquiao looked like threw a, threw a right and left hand at the same time, like clapped Cotty. Cotty. <laughs> Harold, what was Raphael dealing with Jim, there? Jim, you can't hit the guy with two hands. Ah. Manny Pacquiao threw two hands at once. Raphael, oh, Raphael here Raphael we go. Claudi backed into a corner and for a moment was inert as Manny banged away. I'm not sure what's happening to Joshua Claudi and why he's not throwing Emmanuel. There he goes. Went a long time without releasing his hands there. Yeah, that's a Manny's scoring those points too in the meantime. Well, I think Manny's breaking his guard down. It looks to me as though he's starting to land more. Claudie's still tight 
muscular, so controlled. He's like a welterweight tank in there, the way he's built. Both guys are fighting the, the fight that they plan to a great degree. That's what's going to be interesting to see who wins out in the end. Because Pacquiao said he's going to be punching, moving in and out, side to side, giving him angles. Plata said he's going to cut cover up and try to break his wheel by just letting him punch himself out. So it's going to be interesting to see how this fight finishes up. Those are two hard body shots for Claudi. Well, Pacquiao has hurt and knocked fighters out in recent years by hitting them with punches they didn't see coming from awkward angles. And Claudi, because he's paying so much attention to his defense, is not getting hit with those punches. Claudi scored with a good left hand. There are just too few of them for Claudi. Long stretches without offensive output. Pacquiao is consistently throwing and throwing. Okay. Come on. Oh, okay. Josh, use your chance, right? Use your chance, work your way in. Throw your hooks. Just a hook in. Let's take a chance, baby. Let's take a chance. Here we see the, I guess the referee called in Fraction Rule when he act, act, like clapped his head between both heads. Something I've never saw did before. <laughs> and, and, and you see him in the corner where Manny just pummeling him right here with some great shots in there. Nothing that landed that clean, but it was enough uh, to get excitement and got Let's everyone, go, including go. me, thinking that maybe Claudio was hurt. Yeah, on the replay, saw nothing landed. I was impressed that Pacquiao was throwing 93 punches around in the first three rounds. In the fourth round, he threw 116 and, and moved his landed punches number up to 24. Claudio was 10 out of only 21 punches thrown. Well, that's what Manny's going to have to do to win this fight, because he's going to have to go for a decision. And, you know, going down the stretch, he's got to be ready to hold up just in case this man starts putting a little bit more punches together in addition to just walking in. Well, right here you see Claudio applying a little more pressure early in this round. Though he's still not moving his hands. mentioned several times in building up to the fight that Claudia is fighting for the first time with trainer Lenny DeJesus and DeJesus has spent most of his career as a cut man not as a trainer in fact he was Manny Pacquiao's cut man in Pacquiao's last loss against Eric Morales in 2005 Claudia wanted a trainer who worked with him earlier in his career in Ghana Godwin Cote to come here and handle him for this fight but the United States uh, Immigration Department did not allow a visa for Cote. And uh, that left Claudio having to fight in what account, in, in what amount to makeshift circumstances for him. He's such a veteran and he's so deeply ingrained in his own style that it's hard to imagine it would affect him all that much. But of course, you always want to have the training camp with the trainer you prefer. Yeah, but I, I, I was not too impressed with his trainer before, so I think Larry the Hazers would do very well. But I mean, psychologically, it could be a problem him. But I was understanding that he was going back and forth between the trainers recently anyway, even before this guy. Well, was he didn't want the trainer who trained him in New York for the Cotto fight. He wanted Godwin Cote, who had worked with him earlier in his career. That's who he couldn't get. And now he winds up with DeJesus as sort of a, a last resort. Pacquiao, of course, his relationship with Freddie Roach is probably the strongest relationship of any fighter and trainer in this world. Now, this is when Manny has a good chance to try to hurt Potty when he starts punching, and that's when he leaves himself open a little bit. See that? When he punches, he pulls his head up. And that's when Manny has to try to catch him, when he's punching himself. And when Potty just guards like this and doesn't let his hands go, he's giving the fight away. Yeah, he has no chance. If he punches himself, he may get caught, so that's his safety factor. I'm not sure Joshua Clotty came to win tonight. Breathing. Baby. 
You gotta take a chance, okay? Come on. Show it to you. I know you're in a fight. Show it to you. Come on, we gotta take chances. Move up, move up, move up, move up, move up. Move up. Move up. Move up. Unload. Come on. Move what are you waiting for? Come on, you kiss ahead. Let's you take a look at a punch zone graphic which Let's will show punches. you okay. where Manny Pacquiao is landing his punches through five rounds. And look at the body shots. 41 out of his 84 landed punches are body shots. Relatively equally distributed. 24 of them with the left hand, 17 with the right hand. That's been the heart of the Pacquiao attack tonight. Average per round through five rounds. Pacquiao 16 out of 99. Plotty 9 out of 30. Pacquiao has won five consecutive rounds to start the fight. And though Pacquiao is not hurting Clotty, he is reducing Clotty to what he reduces all fighters to that he's fought recently. He's overwhelming Clotty. This is not as though Clotty's not fighting as he normally does. This is how he fights. He likes to block punches before he counters. And Pacquiao's offense is so overwhelming, Pacquiao never stops punching and Clotty never stops blocking. In the last 30 years, there have been three star fighters from Ghana. The very great Azuma Nelson fought to win in every fight. No flies on him. And both are Ike Quarte and Joshua Clotty have been spectacularly talented in the ring. But going down the stretch in those close fights, Quarte never did stretch out. He was he going to safety zone. That's why he lost his big fights. And at this stage right here, this fighter here is look like he's the same type. He's come from the same mold. He's got the talent, but he seems to be still a little too reserved and but, worried but of getting tired. Not worried willing of to lay hit. himself not on the line to try to win the fight. Right. But but this is how Claudi fights, and normally it's enough to win. In uh, you know, in, except when he stepped up against the best right. But he knew he was fighting Manny Pacquiao. When he steps up in class, he loses. And what fights. we all knew is that he would have to be someone he's not to win. We're asking a lot of him. Right. He's he, being he's who he is. He's, he's, and, and I think it's really a testament to Pacquiao so far. Well, you know, if, if this is the verdict and we're going to watch 12 rounds of this, then Pacquiao's too good. Throws too much. Moves too much. Commands the ring too much. He's been in charge of the ring. And yet, and yet, Claudi is landing. Yep. Lands, both of, the, lands both of those right hands. Lands that combination. But now here comes Manny. This is a very active round by Claudi's standards, and, and Pacquiao's still outthrowing him. him. I think he would do more if he would throw more punches, meaning Claudi, but, you know, it's somewhere along the line. I know Manny is a machine, but, you know, I, I don't know if he's going to get tired physically or mentally. But too. Emmanuel, as you mentioned, Claudi doesn't open up because that's when Manny Pacquiao catches opponents in combinations, in exchanges. Well, the best way to stay on your feet is not to open up against Pacquiao. It's another onslaught by Pacquiao to cement the round. His four-hour workouts are becoming legendary in the sport, so if he gets tired, that's an event. And once again, in the round, Pacquiao is going to throw close to 100 punches, 94, and Claudi through 35. You cannot win the fight. Let's create openings now, okay? Let's create openings. Let's take a chance, huh? Come on, baby. Seventh round coming up. Breathe in. Breathe in. Watch more. Watch more. Watch more. Let's faint. That's how he's gonna jab your hook over it. Be ready for the hook. Okay. All right. Okay. Yes. The faint's gonna dry it out. Faint. All right. He jabs hook, hard hook over the side. the halfway point of the fight. Round seven begins. 
Harold, how do you have it through six? Look at Jim, six to nothing, obviously. 60 to 54, Manny Pacquiao. I gotta tell you something, Jim. People may hate me for saying this, but you know what? This guy's fighting scared. I, I mean, he doesn't want to open up. Lenny DeJesus is begging him, open up, open up, punch, punch. He, he won't do it. And I don't he know, won't he just do opened it. up Wait there, there Max. Everybody said he was the bigger guy, the stronger guy. He opens up once in a while, but just like Jim says, not nearly enough to win a round. He's already given up six rounds, and every time Manny Pacquiao steps around and, and attacks him, he covers up. I mean, the guy is fighting a scared fight, and that's all there is to it. Manny Pacquiao winning all these rounds with clean, effective punching. Six to nothing, Pacquiao. I mean, the reality of Pacquiao is, yeah, first of all, Claudio opened up a little bit there. He had momentary success. But if you open up against Pacquiao, when it is unwise to do so, you go to sleep. And so to fight a scared fight, I mean, he's he's clear, you know, Claudio's not known for a high out punch output in the first place. Um, and now he's facing a guy who can punch and who's throwing 100 punches around and stepping around him and boxing him beautifully. You move your hands at your own peril. A big thing is that Claudi just isn't trying to counter Pacquiao. He's not taking advantage of Pacquiao's aggression in any way. That's what he would have to do, it seems no, to me, he, to win he, the fight. He don't want to take a risk. Well, you can't win unless you're going to take a risk. Against, I mean, you're already down six rounds against the best fighter in the world. Give yourself a shot. That's what Lenny DeJesus is trying to say. Well, champions are made on the inside. I've always said that. It's made from the way they think and the heart. It's not so much all the time the skills. And that's why Manny is the champion, and he is the challenger. Everything he doesn't want to take the risk. He doesn't think like a champion. When Marte was right there with Delaware for 12 rounds. Yeah. Oscar took risks in the 12th round and knocked him down. But, and everything you're saying, guys, is right. But I see a well, I see a mouse on Randy Pacquiao's right eye. I've seen him hit here in this fight more than he's been hit against, as I mentioned, De La Hoya, Cotto, um, Diaz, Hatton. I mean, he's beaten the hell out of everybody recently. Glad he's not the only one. In fact, he's doing a little better than those other guys. Yep. Good quick cook by Pacquiao as Claudio was trying to come in. Pacquiao's defense and ring generalship have been good too. Yeah, I was going to say, I've been watching history pictures. Stayed off the ropes. Yep. Very good defense. Okay. Let's be creative. Let's throw punches now, okay? One second. Water. Put your head here. Put your head here. How are we doing? Oh, excellent. Good. It's good. He's alive. Come on. Good job, man. Right here. Don't stand in front of him still. I need a little movement with the tie and shoulder movement, okay? Right. Without without movement, he sees it coming better. Okay, you need a little bit of movement for okay. all times. Okay. box numbers in the seventh round. Pacquiao 16 out of 88. He's still not connecting at a Manny Pacquiao-like percentage, but he's still throwing a Manny Pacquiao-like number of punches. Claudio was seven of 39. What's significant about the 39 punches? Well, those are the most punches that Claudio has thrown in any round in this fight. But the welterweight average is about 56. So he hasn't been even within range of an average welterweight's offensive output at any time in the fight. Pacquiao, on the other hand, is averaging nearly 100 pun punches thrown per round against a guy who's bigger and stronger. Manny Pacquiao is amazing. It's as simple as that. I guess that's that's my point, Jim, is I see this as a brilliant Pacquiao more than a scared Claudie. Remember, of course, that regardless of the outcome of tonight's fight, Pacquiao begins a political campaign 
for a position in the National Legislature of the Philippines on March 26th. And if he's elected, he enters the legislature as a representative in July. And who knows what that would do to his boxing career or even to his popularity on, as a up, Filipino up, icon. Up, okay? They don't love politicians okay? the same way they do uh, athletes. Time out, time out. You okay? Time out. Bring it up, okay? Okay? Time in, let's go! Accidental <laughs> headbutt. Oh, low blow. Also, Claudie, while being physically strong and having talent, is not exactly an A-plus talent fighter. He's not the fastest guy in the world. He's not the biggest puncher. More like an A-minus talent fighter. Yes. And at the end of the day, you okay? Let's go. maybe you never okay? enough offensive game to really go to the top. There you go. Four punch, five punch, six punch combination. Body shot, body shot. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Try and stop it. Bang, bang. Here I come. Bang. Do you want to throw sometime? Bang. This is the Manny Pacquiao who has dominated boxing for the past three years. Bang. Bang, 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 bang. And when Pacquiao. Do you want to throw back? Bang. Keep coming. When Pacquiao starts doing this, now I tend to agree, Claudie has to do something to keep no, him off. No, 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 he isn't. Another one-sided round. Yeah, I do. Let him relax, relax, let him relax. It's okay, I'm sorry about that. Listen, you gotta keep it okay. clean, okay? I'm sorry. Let's go. No problem. Thank you. Relax. We're losing every round. So let's get to it. We're losing every damn round. Come on. You're going back to... In and out, okay? okay. okay. That was beautiful, that round. In and out. He can't touch it. Okay. All right? Combinations out, make a miss, okay? Uh, Remember, he's gonna throw back when you finish, so okay. you can't stand in front of him. Okay. In eight rounds, Manny Pacquiao's thrown 785 punches. He threw 104 of them in the last round. Or was it 118? Well, at any rate, it was a huge number. Bang, 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 as I pointed out. And Claudi did not have an answer in the corner when Lenny DeJesus said, you're losing every damned round. Well, he's used to that. I guess when he just doesn't want to stretch out and take any risk at all. He's trying to win safety, but it's not going to happen. He realizes that this guy's out punching him. And when he does punch, he doesn't land that clearly on Manny anymore. He needs to step it up, but he's not willing to take that risk. First half of the fight, I would say that Claudi wasn't out of his mind to play some defense and try to pick his shots when he could. Right. Hard shots. But now we're into the point of the fight. Now going into, we're in the ninth round. He's lost every round. He's starting to get tagged more cleanly and more frequently. Now is the time in the fight where I wholeheartedly agree, Claudi must really take chances because the win is already out of reach if he doesn't. It's going to have to be a knockout for him to win. I'm sorry, whether he was intimidated by Pacquiao's reputation or intimidated by what Pacquiao did in the ring or whether he didn't mentally prepare in such a way to be ready to take the risks, he hasn't given himself any chance in the fight. Well, this is him fighting his regular fight to me. Yeah, er yeah early on. his regular fight. There you go. Best but, attack of the night but, by, by Joshua Claudio. But man is doing the, the, the Claudio on him. He's, yep, blocking, he's, he's covering blocking, up. blocking those shots. Yep. And hoping he can keep him punching like that and maybe he can catch him. Manny's defense has improved during the fight. Yes, it is. 
And he's still able to release his hands freely inside and out. Like that. And that. What an amazing combination puncher this man is. What a fabulous offensive fighting machine. Yes, as a crowd has never been in this type of a challenge. And to me, I see him just falling apart mentally. Early on, he seemed to be trying to take Pacquiao's measure. Look at this. I can hit him cleanly. Maybe I can set him up. And at some point along the way, Pacquiao, it seems, has convinced him he can't win the fight. Sportsman-like touching of the gloves at the end of the ninth round. Tacit acknowledgement by Claudi. Yep, you've got yeah. me. Come on. Let me hold it. Relax. Relax. You're taking a whipping, baby. Let's go. What's going on? Come on. We haven't won a round, baby. We're going to do something. Yeah. Come on. You did on the miss, remember? All right? The beat, the hit. You have to be set when you land, okay? You have to be ready, okay? Uh -huh. All right? Quick one, two, out. Right hand, left hook. You know, I just caught Joshua Clotty's eyes. He came into the ring and he gave me a look of discouragement. Yep. You know, when you're fighting for a championship of the world with everything on the line, millions of dollars, and 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 you're not even throwing punches. I mean, there's no excuse for that. You know, you sort of let everything hang out, even if you get knocked out. At least go out fighting. Tough fight to score, Harold. The only thing tough about this fight is you wonder if you should give Manny Pacquiao a 10-8 round. He's, he's one of these rats so big. That's the only tough part, Jim. Nine to nothing, 90 to 81. Manny Pacquiao based on all those clean punches. I mean, and like you said, ring generalship and good Manny Pacquiao defense. See that? He blocked those shots. I mean, he's just winning these rounds convincingly. So, you know, you sit and wonder, should you give him the extra point? Should you give him the extra point? But Joshua Clyde, throws just enough to avoid the 10-8 round. Nine nothing, Pacquiao. And as Manny Pacquiao continues to bang away against Joshua Clotty's guard, occasionally getting a punch around the guard or through it, and Clotty throws one punch at a time, as he's done all night long, our Max Kellerman winds up in the Pacquiao corner with training Leonard De Lenny DeJesus. Max, take it away. Lenny DeJesus, early on, Clotty seemed to be countering at times effectively, never moving his hands enough. At this point, he obviously needs something dramatic to win. What's going on? I'm telling you, he went back to his old style. Uh, he's trying to push him to throw more punches because if he throw punches, he create openings, but he's not doing that. I think he's being too cautious. In the game, he has to take a chance, but he's not. Why do you think that is? I think he's feeling uh, Manny power, uh, power, Manny Pacquiao's power. And he doesn't want to take the chance. Simple as that. Thanks, Lenny. Fascinating. Two years ago, Pacquiao was fighting at 135. Now Lenny believes that Clotty is scared of his power. I think exactly the same way. I think he felt that power for the matters. And then he's, he's, and he, and he's took it so he don't want to take a risk. And that's just why Manny is a champion. Manny will gamble. You know, when you're fighting for the championship, you don't try to win the title from a champion. You take it from him. You come in with that attitude, I'm going to take it. This is mine. Give it to me. Well, and I he's not fighting that way. He's just trying to just survive. You know, don't get hurt. You know, do that later on, but you're fighting for the championship of the world, man. Let it all go. Now, here's another point, and you just made this point about Pacquiao, really. You cannot be a great offensive fighter without taking risks. Manny Pacquiao is never afraid to take risks. Right. And that's why he's a champ. You know, and 
to me, such a drastic change after being with a fighter like Tommy Hearn. When you tell him sometimes to play it safe, he says, no, I've got to go out and fight. I mean, it's, it's really frustrating. Like that. Pacquiao is having to work. Pacquiao is taking some punches. Pacquiao is getting hit and bruised. Pacquiao is winning big. This is the 11th round, okay? I know you got the power to knock him out, and you got that strength, and you're in condition. Take chances, baby. Let's take a chance in this one coming up. If you don't take a chance, we go home lost, okay? Yeah, take this. Come on. Listen, take a chance. Take a chance. He's tired. He's desperate, okay? Manny Pacquiao threw 120 punches in the 10th round, landed 27. His connect percentage is going up, and he has already, with two rounds to go, thrown more punches in this fight than in any fight he has ever appeared in before. Because he's had to, and he did it. Whatever he had to do, he did it. He saw he wasn't going to land the clean punches or the knockout. He said, let me just start putting these, you know, they're like putting money in the bank, start building up, building up. And that's what I thought he should do, and he's doing a great job. No, 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 no. And I'll tell you what, Emmanuel. Let's go. I never really said this before. Of all of Pacquiao's fabulous assets, I'm beginning to think that his greatest is his heart. Well, he thinks and fights like a champion. And that's what makes him. And champions are made on the inside. And it's especially good when on the outside you're as fast as anyone, a very hard puncher, and have endless stamina. Two thirteen, two twelve, two ten. Time running down. Lenny De Jesus asked Claudia to take a chance. Hasn't happened so far. But you see, who are we expecting to show up tonight? Claudia seemed to be winning the Cotto fight late and eased off the accelerator and wound up losing a fight he could have won against an inactive opponent. Very Quarte-like. But I think also he's felt the power of Manny Pacquiao too, and I think it's increases. Uh, tendency to the whole back and you see and when, his hesitation. He, when he came out early in this round after the Jesus exhorted oh, him, on, let's go, take let's chances, go, let's go. he tried to kind of take a chance in his way early in the round and then got discouraged and went back to who he is See what Manny's doing. Well, he gets hit with something back, punching. and he comes right back. If you hit me, I'm going to come back with five that's more the, punches. That's, that's what the a champion does. That's right. right. And Claudia, it doesn't have that in him. That's the difference. Oh, what a display. What an amazing display by Pacquiao. Claudia's having maybe his best round, and Pacquiao is rising He's to the occasion. He's going to take it right back from him. He's not going to let him have it. Manny's going to take this part of this round right back. He's Absolutely not going to right. Him. That's it. He'll let Claudia have a couple of punches here and there, but then he rallies. <laughs> Eleven rounds in the books. One round to go. Manny Pacquiao is blowing the roof off of Dallas Cowboys Stadium. What can't he do? Well, no one's ever knocked Claudia right. out. Oh, man, you need a knockout. We don't do a knockout, we go home with nothing. Come on. Breathe in, breathe. Breathe in. Water. Last round coming up, last round. In its way. This is more impressive to me, Emmanuel, than watching Manny knock out Oscar De La Hoya and Ricky Hatton. He's been put to the test. He's hit. 
and he's came back and would resolve to make it still won every round virtually still. And if you give Claudio a round, you give it to him because he did better in one than he did another. But he hasn't really won a round. No, somebody might give him a sympathy round. Well, this is going to be a very I don't see which round. one. I don't see which sympathy round you could give to Claudio. I agree. Shut out. Let's see who closes the show. Claudio's never been knocked out. Manny landed 36 punches in the in the 11th round. His high number for the fight. Maybe he has softened Claudio up. And you're right, though. This is more impressive because here's a fight where he's fighting a guy who doesn't punch much. I mean, he's got to throw almost double what he normally would have to throw in an opponent who would be punching back. But we know what Claudio is. He's not an elite champion, pound-for-pound pound kind of fighter. Claudia. But we also know he's an elite. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. They bump heads again. You okay? You okay? Let's go. Come on, clean, clean. Last round, let's go. Incidentally, both sportsmen like and they like each other. You know, Claudio wasn't able to generate any animosity toward Pacquiao if it would have helped him. It, it wouldn't have made any difference. We, we do know that Claudio is a top welterweight, no excuses in his prime, and we've seen what he's done against other top welterweights, barely lost, and he can't win a round against Pacquiao. And it's not that he's been getting hit that much. He can't win a round because he's not willing to throw punches. And that, that's the thing. And Manny doesn't hit him with that many clean punches, but he's just outworking him. He's doing just what he has to do. Somewhere tonight, both Shane Mosley and Floyd Mayweather are likely watching this. Scouting report, so to speak. Surely, the winner of Mosley Mayweather on May 1 is going to be looking forward to the possibility of getting together with Pacquiao. What are they seeing? What are they looking at as they watch this? Surely, in Mayweather's mind, he's looking at someone whom he can bottle up and defend the way he has done to virtually every other opponent in his career. Well, in Mosley's mind, he's probably thinking, I'll trade with him. Let's see if he's as hard a puncher as I am. Well, that is the fight, even though it doesn't have a marquee value. That is the fight that would be the best fight that could be made would be Shane Mosley to me and this man here. Two offensive two, fighters. Two offensive man guys who always come right back to flourish whenever they get hit. I mean, that, in, yeah. in terms of the, what would occur in the ring, Absolutely right. You can't make a better spectacle in terms of the action in the ring than and the level at which it would be contested than Mosley and Pacquiao. Man, he's grinning again with a minute to go. In terms of the event and what the world wants to see, there's nothing that comes close to Pacquiao and Mayweather. Regardless of what much excitement is generated during the fight itself, that fight is a fight that the public wants and has made themselves. My dream fight with all of it, Manny Pacquiao and a prime Aaron Pryor. The rest of the world's dream fight is Pacquiao and Mayweather, and their dream can come true if Mayweather takes care of business against Mosley. Down the stretch they come. It looks as though Manny Pacquiao's spectacular winning streak continues as he hammers Joshua Clotty to the finish. If Claudi won a round, in my view, it was the 12th. Maybe it was a shutout. Either way, it was another spectacular performance by Manny Pacquiao and thoroughly entertaining, apparently, for the 51,000 fans on hand. scorecard and a fair reflection of the fight. Wayne Ford of Nevada is down here scoring tonight. 131 title fights. You know him well. Had Pacquiao ahead of Cotto having won every round. Most people gave Cotto one or two rounds. Levi Martinez of New Mexico, 42 title fights was uh, in Houston last year to score Marquez Diaz, which was a candidate for fight of the year. Nelson Vasquez, Puerto Rico, very experienced. Uh, had Mosley ahead of Margarito, 78-73. At the moment when Shane knocked Margarito out. And now, let's go to Michael Buffer to find out the scores on this one. Ladies and gentlemen, from Cowboys Stadium, we go to the scorecards. 
Dwayne Ford scores at 120 to 108. Levi Martinez, 119-109. Nelson Vasquez, 119-109. All three to the winner by unanimous decision. The fighting pride of the Philippines and still WBO welterweight champion of the world, Manny Pac-Man. Pac Another dominant performance, another marquee victory for boxing's king of the world. What a good fight. He did what was necessary to win this fight. Well, one thing that was necessary was to stay active, take risks, and dominate Clotty with his offensive output. If that was the plan, he did it perfectly. And More than 100 punches per round, a low connect percentage. That was to be expected against Clotty's tortoiseshell defense. But look at that. He threw 832 more punches in 12 rounds than did Josh, Joshua Clotty. That's extraordinary. And Punch Zone demonstrates that this was the most prolific body punching performance of Pacquiao's career. Landing 108 body punches through the course of the fight. And that helped him to ultimately boost his accuracy upstairs as well. Clotty simply did not try hard enough to score offensively to give himself a chance to be in the fight. Let's go to Max Kellerman with the winner. Congratulations, Manny, on another in a string of maybe unprecedented performances. What are your thoughts right now? Well, uh, you know, it's not an easy fight. It's hard. He's a very top uh, uh, fighter. And, um, you know, I can't believe it. Early, in the, actually in the first round, according to CompuBox, you threw more jabs than you'd ever thrown in any round in your entire career. Why? Well, uh, that's our strategy. Throw a lot of jab, and then uh, when he come inside, we're going to throw a hook uppercut. <laughs> Early in the fight, it seemed you had a hard time hitting him cleanly, even though you were winning rounds, and he was able to land some clean punches, some clean counters. What were your thoughts at that time? Well, I know, I mean, uh, he's not an easy opponent. I mean, I, I thought he's, um, he's like uh, somebody else that I knock, him down, I knock him out in every round. But, you know, um, his mistake is he's a very tough opponent and, you know, he's a good fighter. Did you feel his power early in the fight at all? Oh, yeah, yeah, he, definitely. He's, he's strong, he's strong enough. As the fight wore on and it didn't seem that he was willing to really engage you in exchanges, did you think to yourself you had a chance to knock him out? I mean, uh, I'm not in a hurry because um, he's uh, looking for a, a, a big shot and, you know, look open for my, my style. And I know he's, he's, uh, he's uh, waiting for a timing, uh, you know, counter -puncher. You stay right there because we need to come back to you. Joshua, Joshua, quickly. I want to ask you, now that you just went, obviously you guys like each other. After you just went 12 rounds with Manny Pacquiao, what was that like? What's it like to fight Manny Pacquiao? Well, um, he, he has speed. He has speed. And uh, at the same time, I can tell you, this is the first time I've lost a fight. I understand this one, that I lost a fight. Oh, my fight that I lose, I never think I lose. You, you seemed reluctant to exchange punches with him. Why was that? Yeah, because, you see, uh, um, He's fast, and he's trying to, he, he's waiting for me to ho open, to counter me. That's why I'm taking my time, but I realized that I have to exchange powers, uh, punches with him. That's why I was trying, but he's fast. Thank you, Joshua. Manny, Floyd Mayweather and Shane Mosley have a big fight on May 1st. That's not an easy fight for Floyd Mayweather. It's a fight, Mosley can beat anybody, but assuming Floyd Mayweather wins that fight. What are your thoughts about fighting him? That's the fight the world wants to see. I mean, uh, I want that fight because uh, the people want that, that fight, want to see that uh, good fight, but you know, uh, it's up to him if he's going to fight with me. 
Why, how, why is it up to him? Man, uh, for, for, my, um, for me, nothing problem to fight him, you know. Uh, we're ready to fight any time. But I don't think uh, he's ready for now. But some, maybe uh, some of the time, someday he, he will fight. There seemed to be an impasse in the negotiations over testing. Is there any compromise that can be reached between your position and Floyd's position should Floyd win against Mosley? He should win against Mosley because, uh, you know, if not, you know, maybe uh, Mosley and I will fight. Thank you, Manny. Freddie, what are your thoughts about a Pacquiao Mayweather fight should Mayweather beat Mosley? Well, it's a fight the world wants to see, the audience wants to see it, me and Manny want to see it. I mean, Floyd, let the commission do their jobs, let them run the rules, you don't run the sport, get in the ring and fight us. You have told me that Manny imitates Floyd in sparring. What, what is this about? Well, Manny's a little disappointed in Floyd for his accusations. He makes fun of him a little bit when we're in the gym, and he shows me how we crush that defense. And then we will crush him. Can we see how you crush the Mayweather defense, Manny? How do you crush the Mayweather defense when you're imitating him sparring? Um, <laughs> I mean, um, I think his style is not a, uh, it's not difficult style like uh, Clotty. I, you know, it's easy to study, but um, we have to train and hard in that, in that fight if that fight is supposed through. But he need to to do his business on uh, on, uh, I mean, uh, on his next fight. Thank you, Manny. Congratulations on another unbelievable performance. And I want to thank uh, to all the people who come here tonight. Everybody, everybody, this fight, I will dedicate it to you. This, is, this fight is dedicated to you, all of you uh, who are watching here tonight. And to all the, the boxing fans, this fight is dedicated to all of you, especially to my, uh, in the Philippines, to, to uh, Sarangani province. Thank you, this fight. Is will be dedicated to all of you in uh, the owner of our country. Jim. You. Spring forward tonight on your clocks to stay up with daylight savings time. And now for our entire crew, I'm Jim Lampley saying so long from Cowboy Stadium in Arlington, Texas.